Hello everyone, welcome to Switch Up as we once again have a look at what's coming out on the Nintendo Switch in this upcoming week. We'll be covering from the 25th of July up to the 31st of July, which is this Saturday up to next Friday. And we'll be asking that eternal question, is this week a wallet buster? Well, without further ado, let's find out. The first game of note coming out on the 28th is a game called Interrogation, You Will Be Deceived. This sees you having to coordinate your team to gather information, manage your budget and deal with the press as well as interrogating suspects whilst in the pursuit of a terrorist organisation called the Liberation Front. It describes itself as a convo puzzle game which is a term I've never heard before which I'm assuming is basically a visual novel. It says you'll be exploring deep and increasingly difficult conversational puzzles, showing your management skills by balancing your cases and ultimately getting yourself one of multiple endings. It looks to have a film noir style to it, and I do like these sort of games if they are done well. It's going to sell for $12.99 if you are interested, and as I said, it's out on the 28th. Next is a game called Ageless which is coming out on the 28th, selling for £10.99 and is published by Team17. This is a story driven puzzle platformer where you must alter the age of animals and plant life around you to progress. This game has been out on Steam for a couple of months I believe and uses a very basic pixel art style but from the limited footage I've seen it's handled in a very nice way, very crisp. It looks as if the age mechanic will tie into the puzzles and Team 17 to be fair have published some very decent games on the Switch recently, they've been on a bit of a roll so it'll be interesting to see if this is another hit. And next for the week we have a game that I'm sure some people will be looking forward to, this is Mega Dimension Neptunia 7, which is a JRPG which has been out elsewhere for a few years now and has also been out in Japan on the Switch since around March time. Now I know very little to nothing about this series at all, I've heard of it, I've seen gameplay but I've never played it, so perhaps some of you in the comments could educate me on what it's all about. The key features of the game are that characters can link up for stronger attacks, with parts break allowing you to split enemies into pieces to lower their stats and disable special attacks, there is a next mode which features special skills and a special costume for the goddesses, and you'll have to traverse through three dimensions to save, here we go, game industry, have I said that right? with your favourite goddesses. Having just watched the trailer, it does look very standard in terms of what you'd expect from a JRPG, but it also looks a lot of fun. It's selling for £26.99, but as I said, if you are a fan, please do let us know a bit more about it in the comments section. And next is a game called They Breathe, which is a remaster of a game that came out I believe in 2014, and it's a very cheap game selling for just £3.59. This is a horror game where you play as a frog that has to descend into the depths of a flooded forest, and you have to try and survive in that environment, and this new version has also got local co-op included too. Now again I know very little about this game, but it seems to be very well regarded, albeit I believe it's not very long, only about half an hour maybe to complete it. This one's actually piqued my interest, mainly because the trailer just doesn't give very much away, and I'm quite intrigued to see what it's all about, especially for that cheap price. And next from Koi Tecmo we have Fairy Tale, which is a game based on an anime based on a manga. It says you can play as powerful mages from different guilds and there are a total of 16 playable characters. You need to aim to become the number one guild. It includes battles from the Grand Magic Games arc to the Tartarus arc and also includes an original episode as part of the game. As is generally the case with Koi Tecmo games, it's selling for a high price of £54.99 and I believe this one is getting a physical version as well. Three, 
And next we have Nowhere Profit, which is coming out on the 30th and sells for £19.49, albeit it has 25% off of that price until the 13th of August. This is a single player deck building card game with a tactical combat system and uses procedural generation in terms of its maps. You need to find, loot and recruit followers to build your deck and there are more than 300 cards for you to find. It has a very interesting art style and I've played a couple of deck building games on the Switch so far and very much enjoyed my time with them, I know it's a bit of a niche genre. For that price of nearly £20, obviously not including the discount, I suppose it depends how much content it has, but fans of that genre may well want to give this one half a look. And next is a game called Hotel Souls, which sells for £6.59 but does have 10% off until the 12th of August. This is a point and click game with a very peculiar art style and sees you staying in a hotel where you lose a precious stone and have five days before you need to check out, therefore you've got five days to try and find it again. The hotel itself contains a variety of clues as to the whereabouts of your stone and it's another game that says that you will choose your own fate. Now I watched the trailer for this and I actually thought it looked pretty decent. I do like quirky games like this. It's another game that's out on Steam already and it has decent reviews over there, as I always say, for what it's worth. If you are interested, this one comes out on the 30th of July. And next, also on the 30th, we have a game called Heroes of Hammerwatch Ultimate Edition. Now Hammerwatch is already on the Switch, it's been out on there for a while, and was actually one of the first games I ever reviewed on this channel. I'll put a link to that review in the top pinned comment if you want to have a watch. I sound absolutely terrified. Now this is set in the same universe as Hammerwatch, so I've read, and is an ARPG roguelite, which includes all of the DLC that's been released for this particular game. Now I very much enjoyed the original Hammer Watch as you'll see if you watch that review and this seems to be more of the same but I'm assuming bigger and better. It has 9 different classes this time, I think the original only had 6 and local and online co-op although I think the original had that as well. It's about double the price of the original though so it's just whether it's worth the upgrade I suppose but nonetheless I'm sure it's a very decent game. And next we have Sentinels of Freedom coming out on the 30th and selling for £20.19. This was a Kickstarter originally and is based on Sentinel Comics, the role playing game. This video game version is a turn based tactics game, I'm assuming in the same vein of things like XCOM, and we'll see you build a team from the heroes available to you. It has a full story campaign, squad dynamics where your heroes must work together, and also a create your hero mode as well. It says that this release will include chapter 1, which is a self contained story with many levels and heroes, and that chapter 2 will release shortly after, and then other chapters are planned. It doesn't say though, of course, whether you will need to pay for those separately or if they are included within this price. Perhaps the Kickstarter model had some more information on that. And finally for the week we have a game called Nought, which comes out on the 31st and will sell for £17.99. This, going by what I've just seen, looks very much like something like Limbo, perhaps also with a splash of, was it called VVVVVV? There was a game with loads of V's in it, where you had to uh, flip gravity to try and move along the levels. It looks similar to that, but with a Limbo aesthetic anyway, that's what I'm trying to say. Anything with this sort of aesthetic instantly stands out because it's just so striking and when used well that particular gameplay mechanic can work to good effect. £17.99 seems like a lot of money for me though I've got to be honest but if you are interested as I said it comes out on the 31st. So that's it for this week then, is it a wallet buster? Well you have two fairly big releases in Mega Dimension Neptunia and Fairy Tail, albeit they're not to my personal tastes. Some of the others look interesting, They Breathe and Hotel Souls for sure for me, a couple of the others look decent, it's not a week that screams out for you to buy everything on the store that's for sure, but there's some half decent looking games there. Please do let me know though if you're picking anything up, did any of it interest you? Stick it in the comments section below. 
A quick thank you to our Patreons, as always for your continued support, and to each and every one of you for watching our videos. Take care, stay safe, and until next time, happy gaming.